friends, it's Julie and I'm back today with a shoulder workout. So we are going to burn out these shoulders. It is a quick workout, no impact, no cardio, just shoulders. So grab your light, medium and heavy weights. We are going to go through four rounds of two exercises per round. So supersets, we're going to repeat each round three times and then you're going to be done. So you don't need a lot of space, just a little bit of equipment for your weights. And let's get started. Are you ready to warm up? I also recommend having a little water nearby in case you need to rehydrate during the workout. So we're going to start with some shoulder rolls. Let's go up and back. Nice, good circles. We're going to really work the shoulders. It's going to be a quick workout and we're just focusing on those shoulders. And let's go forward. They will be simple movements, so nothing complicated. You should be able to follow along very easily. So even if you're new to weight training, this should be a very doable workout for you. Okay, big circles all the way around. <clears throat> Sorry, losing my voice there for a second. <laughs> okay, let's big circle all the way forward. Good job. Okay, put your hands on your hips. You're going to fold to the front, push your hips forward. We're not really working our lower body at all today, but we still want our entire body to be warm and ready to work. Shoulders is my favorite. Oh my goodness, I love working shoulders. I hope you love it as much as I do. One more. Let's do a few squats just to get our body warm. So just sit back, stand to the top. There you go. I love the way deltoids look when you start to get muscle definition, when you're wearing your tank tops or anything. Oh. Shoulders is just my favorite. We all have that favorite part that we like to work, right? Shoulders and legs, those are mine. Let's do one more. All right, let's do a little butt kick here. So just side to side, no jumping. We're just gonna warm up the legs, get our heart rate up a little bit. We are gonna move pretty quickly through the workout. So what you're gonna do is lift for 45 seconds. You'll rest for 15. So we're just gonna keep moving so you'll be done pretty quickly. Of course, at any time, if you need to rest, rest. Don't quit though. And if you choose a weight that's either too heavy or too light, then for that next round, you'll know you can go up or you need to go down. But keep good form no matter what. So don't lift so heavy that you can't keep good form. We don't want injuries. We're just trying to get stronger. Doesn't matter what the number on the weight is. Okay, do you feel ready to work? Your first round has an overhead press and an upright row. Very basic movements. So you have three rounds. If you want to start lighter and work your way up, that's a good idea. I think that's what I'll do. So I'm just going to start with some 10 pound weights. This is a pretty light weight for me. If this is your heaviest weight, awesome. So overhead press, you're just pressing up, coming down, pressing up, coming down. Make sure your shoulders stay down. We don't want you to bring your shoulders up to your ears. We don't want that. Your second exercise is an upright row. So you're gonna bring it right up under your chin. Elbows are out to the side and then come down. So elbows are higher than your hands. So it's like you're picking up two buckets and you're just pulling them up. Those are gonna be your two exercises. So 45 seconds, we'll rest for 15 seconds. We'll go right into the upright row. Are you ready? Grab the weight that you wanna use something that you can lift for 45 seconds. Okay, ready? Here we go. Up to the top, back down. Now you're using your shoulders here to push it up, just like you were holding a box or something that you're putting over your head into a cabinet that's higher. So we want to push, bring it back down. <clears throat> now you can also stand here in a staggered stance if that helps support your back. We don't want a crazy arch in our back we want our tailbone to be neutral. So we don't want our booty sticking out here where we get that awful arch in our back. We want to be nice and in alignment. Can you feel it? You're almost there, you have five seconds. Hang in there and rest. You've got a 15 second rest. We're gonna go right into that upright row. Same thing, you can stand wide stance, you can stand staggered stance. You could even be sitting at the edge of a chair if you want. 
Are you ready? Here we go. So bring it up and back down. And bring it up and back down. Good job. And just pull it to the top, come back down. Pull to the top, those elbows are high, but your shoulders are down. No shrugging. Now, what else should you be thinking about right now while you're lifting these weights? What else should you be engaging in your body or other muscles? Your core. So think about your core. Pull those abs in. They're there to brace your back and keep your body upright. So don't let them be hanging out. You want to think about them, keep them engaged right now. Last one. Woo. Okay, you got a 15 second rest. If you feel like you can go up in weights, go up in weights. So I'm gonna grab another set of weights. It's almost time for the next round. Are you ready? Here we go. And to the top. A 15 second rest is <laughs> not very long, is it? Now, so you can be right here where you just have your back leg is kind of like a kickstand. Some people like to stand with their feet together. So you can be here. Wide stance is fine too. I tend to like to be here or a wide stance. And sometimes I alternate between the two. Especially if I'm getting tired. <laughs> I might need to move my foot position. <sighs> Hang in there. Don't give up. If you need to drop the weights because it's too much, that's okay. And rest. Oh my goodness, did you feel your shoulders on fire? Because mine definitely were. Okay, we've got our 15 second rest. We're gonna go right into those upright rows. This one pretty much an upright row. I always stand with my feet wide, I don't know why. Here we go. Just using the shoulders, pull it up. You're shaping your deltoids. People like to call them pumpkins because they get kind of round as you start adding muscle definition to them. Good job, hang in there. How are you feeling so far? Your arms hanging in there? Feeling strong? Did you choose a good weight? I think I did, I'm feeling challenged. Now I'll spare you five seconds. We just have one more round and then we're moving on. Rest. All right, I'm gonna set those down for the 15 seconds. Sometimes my hands get kind of sore, especially right now I've been doing yard work like a ton. So my hands are so sore from gripping the shovel, probably over gripping. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Last time through, grab those weights. Here we go. And that does bring up a good point. You don't wanna over grip on your weights. So you should not have the white knuckle going on. If you're having to really grip them, you might need to go down in weights. Make sure you breathe. Ooh, my arms are on fire, friends, on fire. 45 seconds is a long time, right? You're almost there. Hang in there. And rest, oh, shake that out. If you need to go down in weights or you wanna go up in weights for this last round, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna stick with the same ones. I'm definitely not going any heavier. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Here we go, let's lift. And lower. Now, I've had people ask me before, how long does it take to start seeing muscle definition when you start lifting? And honestly, it can vary from person to person because some people are predisposed to build muscle in their upper body very quickly. It is not that way for me. It takes me a lot longer to see definition in my arms. So I say about six weeks to start seeing changes in your arms. For some people, it's less time than that. Sometimes I've seen changes in about three weeks when I start a new lifting program. Um, but sometimes it's taken up to six weeks and for like really good long-term definition results, it's taking you years. <laughs> Take a break. You're done with that round. So don't be discouraged. Stay patient because building muscle does take time. You have to be consistent. 
And you have to keep doing it, keep going up in weight slowly, and you'll slowly start to see more and more definition. Okay, this next round to exercise, lateral raise and front raise. So you're gonna to wanna to go much lighter than you did for your overhead press. Lateral raise, we're going out to the side with our arms out, and then with the front raise, just right to shoulder height in front of us. Very simple. I'm gonna go ahead and start with five pounds. So grab your weight with the lateral raise, slight, slight bend in the elbow. So they don't have to be straight out, slight bend, knuckles on top, yeah? Take a deep breath. We're gonna do the same thing that we did before, 45 seconds and we'll rest. Ready, here we go. So you're gonna lift, lower down. Now I'm gonna tell you the same thing, keep your shoulders down. We don't wanna be shrugging. And you're just raising your arms to shoulder height, bringing them back down. No momentum, so I don't want you rocking to get it up. If you can't get it up, just lifting with no momentum, then you need to go down in weights. The momentum is not helping you build muscle. Here you go. This is probably my favorite shoulders exercise. Honestly, I love the lateral raise. If you can hold like a little split second there at the top, one second, and come back down, get that extra little burn. Woo! And rest. Got 15 seconds, we'll go into the front raise. Now for the front raise, there actually are two ways you can do it. You can have thumbs on top or knuckles on top. We're gonna do it with knuckles on top. So your palms are facing your thighs. Are you ready? I'll turn both sides so you can see. Here we go. So lift right to your shoulder height, come back down right in front of your thighs. And once again, no momentum. So no rocking and rolling to get it up there. You could start with two pound weights, three pound weights. I'm only using fives. Now, if I were wanting to lift heavier for this exercise, I wouldn't go for as long of a period of time. And I would probably go for reps. For today, we're lifting endurance. So we're going lighter because we're lifting for longer. You're almost there, you have five seconds. and rest. I'm actually gonna stick with this weight for the next round and then I'm gonna go up in my very last round. So, take your breather. If you need a sip of water, get a sip of water. Take a deep breath. We're just about ready to go again. <laughs> okay, here we go, let's lift. To the side and back down. You wanna control that on the way up and on the way down. So use control to lower it. Don't just let it flop back down to your sides. So I don't want you to do that. I want you to lift it up and then lower it back down where your muscles controlling it all the way down. And that way you are working on the eccentric and the concentric motion. You're working on the way up where you're lifting, 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 and then you're working on the way down. You're lowering, lowering with control. We want quality movement over quantity. Just getting faster and more reps, that's not quality. We want to really use the muscles. One more, and then you have your rest. And rest, okay, so we're going back to that front raise. We're just flying through this round. This is already, we're almost done with our second round. This one feels faster than the first one. Okay, are you ready? Take a deep breath, here we go. Let's lift to the front. Now, same thing, lower with control on the way back down. Yes. So there are times when we're when we might want to lift quicker, a quicker pace, still using control. And then there's times where you really want to slow it down and just work through all the range of motion, controlling it with that muscle. Ooh, how are your arms feeling? Mine are shaking a little bit. It's good though, right? It's a good thing. Hang in there, you're almost there. We're just gonna do one more round and rest. I'm gonna set these to the side and I'm gonna go up for my very last round. So if you can go up, awesome, go up. If you can't, don't worry about it. Stick with the same one. Or if you pushed heavier in the beginning and you need to go down weights, do it. Here we go. To the side. And down. So it's spring, right? 
which means we're gonna start wearing dresses again, hopefully, bathing suits, tank tops, all those things. So we really wanna work on these shoulders and get them ready. It's actually hot at my house right now for spring. It's like beginning of spring and we're like at 90 degrees. I'm sure we'll cool back down again. We'll go back and forth because that's what our weather does. You're almost there. Ooh, I've got a nice burn going on in those shoulders. And rest. Take your little rest. One more time through with the front raise, and then we're going to move on, and we're going to go much lighter in weight for this next round coming up. Like much lighter, like two, three pounds, maybe one pound. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Here we go. To the front. Let me move to the side a little bit. Now, you can also stand this way, too, if you like. You could also be sitting in a chair if you wanted to do that. Is anybody else starting to sweat? I am. Maybe wearing a t-shirt was a bad idea for me. <laughs> Hang in there. Oh my gosh, you guys, my arms are dying. They're on fire. But I'm going to push through it. I feel like I can still use good form, so I'm not going to give up. We're almost there. And rest. Ooh, oh my goodness. Okay. So for this next round, much, much, much lighter weights, I am going to start with two pounds. And then, actually, maybe I'll start with three pounds. I'll start with three. Okay, so let me show you what you're gonna do. This is called a swimmer press. That's what I call the swimmer press. So what you're gonna do is arms out to your side. You're gonna pull them in right in front of you, little bitty lift, and come back out. In, lift, back out. That's your first exercise. That's why I say go light because you're keeping your arms up at shoulder height the entire time. So it is a lot of work. The second exercise is called a scarecrow press. So you're going to be here once again. You're going to let your arms come down. Your elbows are still high. You come back up, little lift. So same thing again. Your elbows are staying high the entire time. So light weights so that you can maintain good form. When we tend to get, when we get tired, we tend to start shrug, shrugging so that we can like use other muscles to get it up there. So we don't want to do that. We want our shoulders still to stay down. So start with a really light weight so that you can decide how heavy you can go. You could even start with no weights. Take a deep breath. We're going to get started. So we're going to start with that swimmer one. So hands up. Here we go. Bring it in, lift it up, come down, back out. Bring it in front of you, lift it straight up, back down, and out. So those elbows stay high the entire time. They're not coming down. And when you come to the middle, squeeze, little lift, and back open. And squeeze, little lift. So you wanna pretend you're trying to squeeze something between your elbows, that you're trying to bring your elbows together. So when you come in here, bringing your elbows together, and then just little bitty lift, and down. There you go. So see why you want to go light? <laughs> it starts to burn really fast. You're almost there. One more. Okay, shake that out. We're going to do the scarecrow lift next, or scarecrow press is really what I call it. So if this range of motion of moving hurts, if for some reason in your rotator cuffs that does not feel comfortable, then just hold it and do the press. Okay, here we go. So we're going to rotate here and press, rotate, press. So you're keeping your elbows high and you're just rotating your hands down just ever so slightly. It's not huge. And then back up. If that does not feel good, then you can hold and press and hold and press. That would be another thing that you could do instead of the scarecrow. There you go. Hang in there. Last one. And rest. Okay, shake it out. I'm going to stick with my same weights because they felt challenging enough, and then I'm going to go up for my last round. Shake it out. Roll your shoulders a little bit. 
We're getting close to the end. You can do this. Okay, ready? Here we go. So let's pull it in, press, and open. Yes, good job, you guys. Okay, I'll talk to you and distract you from this pain. So one of the things that's really important if you are trying to lose weight is you wanna make sure that you have a combination of cardio and weight training in your weekly routine. Cardio alone is not ideal for fat loss. Your body will burn more calories just maintaining muscle. So you wanna add muscle so that your body has to work harder to maintain that muscle and rest. Cardio alone really is not beneficial for just losing weight. Take a deep breath. So this weight training is so, so important if you're looking to lose weight and if you want to sculpt your muscles. Okay, back up to the top. Here we go. So down, up, press. So what I recommend, depending on how many days a week you can commit to for working out, is at least three days of weight training. Then you could do two days of HIT, steady state cardio. If you don't have enough days open to do five days right now, you can do your cardio on the same days that you do your weights. So lift weights and then maybe end with 30 minutes of cardio. Maybe it's a walk, maybe it's a HIT workout, um, whatever cardio fits into your schedule but you want a combination of the two. And rest. Ooh, how are your arms? Ooh, okay, I'm gonna put those to the side. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep these nearby because I think that last round with those scarecrows, I might need those. Scarecrows are a little harder, so these are a little heavy for that. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Let's go. Press. So that is my advice for the ideal routine for losing fat is to make sure that you have weight training and cardio. And a more efficient cardio, if you don't want to spend a lot of time, is something like a HIIT workout. It doesn't have to be jumping, but something where you work really hard for periods of time and then you rest. Steady state cardio is great too, but you do have to go longer if you want to burn more calories. Walking is great though. I think that for anybody who's starting out, walking is the best cardio to start with. And rest. Okay, I'm gonna go back down to the threes because the scarecrows are harder on my shoulders. So I don't wanna go so heavy where I'm really straining them. Take a deep breath. It's your last time through this exercise and we're really getting close to being done. Here we go. Now, the other thing I need to tell you about fat loss is the most important part is what you eat and what you don't eat. <laughs> So your nutrition is so, so important. And it needs to be something that you can sustain, which means it has to be something that can be a lifestyle, not a fad diet that you do for a short period of time because you really just can't stick with it long-term. That is not beneficial. So you need to pick something that you can do forever, that that's the way you eat, it's healthy, and it's sustainable. But your nutrition is so, so, so important if you're looking to lose weight and see definition in the muscles you're building and rest. Oh my goodness, how are your arms? <gasps> okay, last round. Are you so excited? Okay, so what we're gonna do is called a W press. I say that because it looks like your hands are in a W. You're gonna hold your weight and you're gonna lift to the side, come back down. Lift to the side, come back down. So you're pulling your elbow away from your ribs and then you're gonna bring it back to your ribs. Your second one is a 180. So I want your palms open against your thighs here. You're gonna be holding your weight. You're gonna come all the way to the top, all the way back down. And your palms are facing away from you. So I call it a 180 because you're basically going half of a circle on each side. So lighter weights for that. For the W press, medium, I think I'll just go back to my fives, honestly. Okay, so take a deep breath. We've got the W press and the 180. So you've got your arms open. Ready, here we go. We're gonna lift and come back. Lift and come back. 
So your elbows are staying bent. You're lifting with your shoulders. So your elbows are not hinging the way we would with a bicep curl. They're staying slightly bent and your shoulders are lifting them away from the ribs and pulling them back. Yes. How are you feeling? You're at the end, so I know your arms might be tired right now. Totally understand, because that's how I feel. <laughs> so hang in there. You're close to being done. And then you'll go on with your day. And rest. Okay, I'm going to drop down to my lighter weights <clears throat> for the 180s, because you are going all the way up over your head. It's a really big range of motion, so I recommend a light weight. So I'm going back down to my threes. We're going to go all the way to the top, all the way back down. Here we go all the way up, all the way back down. Make sure your shoulders are down, we're not shrugging. All the way up, all the way back down. Here we go. Yes, hang in there. I think maybe I could go up in weights. For this one, my arms are not quite as bad as I thought they would be. I mean, they're sore. Don't get me wrong, I can definitely feel them. But this is what you do. You grab a weight and then you see after that first round, like, could I go up or do I need to go down or is it just the right weight? And rest. Okay. Shake your arms out for a second. We're going to go back to the W lift. We're getting tired, right? It's the end of the workout. Grab your weights. Let's do this again. And lift and come in. Lift and come in. So kind of like you're holding two buckets and you're lifting them away from your body and then pulling them back in. And once again, we're slow and controlled. We're controlling the way out. We're controlling the way back in. If you can hold a second at the top, hold and bring it back in, Woo! even more. Those little isometric holds are great. But it really does make your arms burn a lot faster, doesn't it? Hang in there. Don't give up. You're only going to do this exercise one more time. Last one. And down. Ooh. Okay. Grab whatever weight you need for this next one. I've got another time in the 180s. And we just have one more round and then you're done. And we are only at 27 minutes. So... We're gonna be done pretty quick here. Short workout, ready? Here we go. Up to the top. You don't have to work out for long periods of time <laughs> to get a good burn going, right? And especially if you move at a quick pace like this where you're working a certain amount of time on and a certain amount of time off, it really keeps your pace going. Whereas, at least for me, when I will do reps and when I'm counting reps, Sometimes I rest for quite a bit in between sets, especially if I'm going heavy, which is totally fine because if you're going heavy, you do need a longer rest, but it can make the workout go a little longer because you're resting longer. But this is also a nice alternative to that to keep the pace moving. You're burning out your arms, so you're still really working them, but lighter weights. And rest. Okay, one more time for... One more time, friends. We are so close. So grab your weights. If you want to go up or you want to go down, I'm just going to stick with the same weights. They're feeling like a good challenge. Here we go. Lift and down. And if you would like for me to do a workout where we go heavier and lift for shorter periods of time, I would be happy to do that. That is typically how I train, is heavier with shorter periods of time. But I also like to have workouts that are quicker for people that don't want to spend a ton of time working out. But if that's something you're interested in, please comment below and tell me. In fact, anything that you would like to see in a workout, you know, let me know. If it's something I can do, I will. And rest. Okay, one more time with the 180s. We're so close. So grab those weights. Roll out the shoulders for a second. One more time. You've got this. Here we go. To the top and down. We're so close to the end. Give it all you've got for these last 45 seconds. I 
You know your arms are tired, but you're not giving up. You're pushing through because you're strong. And you want to see those shoulder muscles. Never give up on yourself. No matter what anybody else says, whether they are cheering you on or not, be your own cheerleader. Cheer yourself on. You're doing something amazing. Give yourself credit for that and be proud of yourself for sticking with it. You're almost there. Let's do one more. One more rep. And rest. Okay, put those weights down. Okay, we're going to stretch. We just hit 30 minutes. Let's stretch out the shoulders and get you out of here. Okay, so let's just pull it across and give a little tug. How do you feel? Are your arms tired but in a good way? Mine are tired in a good way. I definitely have a little burn going on in my deltoids, but it's good. Let's switch and do the other arm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, mine are a little sore. <laughs> and that might be the case for you too. And it doesn't mean if you're not sore, it doesn't mean you didn't get a good workout. Some people's bodies react differently. I can get sore pretty easy. And then sometimes I don't at all. So it just depends. So don't let that be the gauge of whether your workout was good. But if you get to the end of your life, mm, I don't really feel like I worked that hard, then you know that next time you need to go heavier and push yourself. Okay, take your hands and clasp them behind your back and just pull, stretch out the front of those deltoids. We worked them so hard. I do have other shoulder exercises on my channel. Um, I have one that also combines with biceps and cardio, and then one that's combined with legs. So if you like working shoulders and you want some other variety in that, I do have other shoulder workouts, and then plenty of cardio workouts on there, and biceps and back and all sorts of things. So check out those other videos if you haven't yet. Okay, hands in front, and let's turn them inside out and pull. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love if you subscribed. Um, it helps this channel grow, which I actually really don't care about being a big channel or anything. I just want to help people and give them free workouts. That's really all I care about. And up to the top. But if you could give it a thumbs up if you gave this workout a try. And then comment below. Let me know how it went for you. How your arms feel. Did you crush it? Did you go heavier? Like, how did the workout go for you? I would love to hear those things. I love to hear how people did in a workout how the workout went for them, and how strong they feel afterwards. So tell me how you feel. Did you push hard? And do you feel stronger? So thank you for working out with me. I will have another workout up again very soon. And have a great rest of your day. Bye.